everyone, welcome back to the Children's Message. Your favorite time of the week, my favorite time of the week, and Timmy's favorite time of the week. And look, look, I finally got a haircut. We And actually, you know who did this haircut? My wife. It was going to take so long for the barber to cut my hair. It was going to take over a month. When we called into schedule, there were so many appointments ahead of me that I went to my wife and said, you know what? I trust you. And look, she actually, she did a really, really great job. And actually, well, Teddy has a flower on his head. But we'll talk about that soon enough. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to the children's message. Like I said, Teddy is wearing a flower on his head. And actually, he looks like a sunflower, right? It's, and it has to do with today's story the parable of the sower so one time jesus was on the shore of the lake and he was sitting there refreshing himself you know splashing in the water and all of a sudden when he looked there were a lot of people around him and he well if there were people around him you know what jesus is gonna do He's going to tell a story and he's going to teach the people. So he got on a boat and left a little bit off the shore and started teaching the people there. And he started telling them this story. There once was a farmer who had a lot of seeds and he took them and he threw them, right? And some seeds fell on hard, hard, hard soil and the birds came and and peck at them and they didn't grow they just ate all the seeds now some seeds where the farmer threw fell on rocky ground with big rocks and sometimes little tiny pebble rocks and when the seeds started to grow they started to try to take root but they weren't strong enough and they couldn't get a lot of nutrition from the roots and when the sun came they withered and they died and some where the farmer threw fell on a road full of thorns there were a lot of vines and thorny bushes and when the seeds started to grow it got choked up because of all of the thorns and it withered and it died. However, Jesus said, some seeds fell on good soil and they went down and they got all the nutrition and they went up and they got big and strong and gave a lot of fruit, right? And bountiful fruit everywhere. When the, when the farmer came back, he saw his field and was like, he was amazed. Now, when I heard this story for the first time, I was thinking, hmm, what type of seed would it be? I was maybe six years old when I heard this story for the first time. I said, hmm, what type of seeds would the farmer throw? And I thought to myself, of course, sunflower seeds, because the birds eat them. I eat sunflower seeds, hence sunflower seeds. And I thought of all this time, I don't know why, every single time I hear the story, I think of sunflowers. And in Puerto Rico, there is a field full of sunflowers. And actually, here's the picture. Look at that picture. It is just full of sunflowers. And it's just as far as the eye can see. Hey, come back. Hey, Kai. <laughs> as far as the eye can see. And that, when Jesus tells the last part of the story, where the farmer had a bountiful harvest, that's what I think about. Now, when we think about the story, you know what the seed represents? The seed represents God's word. And you know what represents good soil? Our hearts. So if our hearts have good soil and we take in the word of God, we will become like big, strong sunflower seeds. Not sunflower seeds, sunflowers. Now, when we hear God's word through a sermon like this one, a children's sermon, or with the sermon with the pastor on Sundays, we ask God's word 
to come into our hearts and find good soil. So, would you please pray with me so that we also can hear God's word. May it enter our hearts and find good soil and that we can become a beautiful sunflower just like Teddy. Look at him. He's so cute. He's just adorable. All right. Would you please pray with me? God, in your name we ask that your word may be able to find good soil in our hearts so that when that seed grows, when it grows in our hearts, we have become a beautiful sunflower and may it be able to give you a great harvest. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Kids, thank you so much for tuning in every single week. I am so glad and blessed to be able to bring these messages to you. I know Teddy is blessed as well, and we are so excited to join you on July 19th, where we're going to be able to write and draw on the sidewalk of the church and leave beautiful art for the people of Cranford. And also, we're going to be able to collect uh, prayer requests on the prayer net, and we are so happy that we are going to be able to see each other again. So until that time, God bless. See you next time.